sometime in the future, people may look back on today as the golden age in cancer research. In the old days, we used, we used cytotoxic drugs that kind of worked across the board and just sort of wiped out rapidly growing cells. The, the new advances in molecular biology and biochemistry is that they're finding out what are the growth pathways that drive various cancers? As cancer treatment moves towards individual drug therapy, studies are honing in on these cancer pathways and trying to find ways to shut them down. That's where drug trials come into play. That's what basically produces the advances, and that's also a way in which we give the latest cutting edge therapies to our patients. Clinical trials come in four phases. The first involves patients who have exhausted their options. It looks at the safety of a drug. The final phase generally comes after FDA approval. At any given time, people in Southwest Florida are taking part. Each drug has different qualifying characteristics that determine whether someone is eligible. It's the nature of trials that not everyone gets the experimental drug. It's double blinded, so there's absolutely no chance for bias or that someone could interfere with the results. So even though I had a patient on the try, I don't know if they got the treatment drug or they got the placebo drug. Several drugs, including ones for lung, skin, and breast cancer, were tested locally and went on to get FDA approval. It's really exciting to know that I put a patient here in Fort Myers on a trial that led to a, a new drug that's going to improve the treatment of breast cancer. As researchers attack cancer from the cell level, it gives cancer doctors more options to fight it in the real world. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.